Hi, Clay here. Um, I need to make this little screencast, and let me show you it. Here it is, screencastomatic.com. You can make for free screencasts just like this. All you need is a microphone and an internet connection. Now, why am I doing that? Because I want to show you a service free online called Digo that can be useful for anybody, you can imagine, but since this is all about education, I want to recommend it for students, researchers, and for parents to show to their students, and for teachers to both use <coughs> themselves and also to um, have their students use. What is Digo? Instead of talking about it, I'll just show you, all right? Let's go to a favorite post of mine from last week because of all the comments, because Digo is really relevant to that. That UCLA study that said that technology shows a decline in literacy and in critical thinking because it's replacing reading as if we don't read online and we can't converse and comment and critically think and do all sorts of things when we read online. Well, here we are. We're on that post, and let me show you how Digo encourages close reading, critical thinking, and other things. All right? One thing I want to do on this space is start highlighting uh, reader comments that deserve a post in themselves on a weekly basis. Now, there's one here at the bottom of this post that I want to show you. Give me a sec. Oh Let's just pretend that it's this one. Okay, I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to right click and watch this. That's Digo, highlight. Now the thing is highlighted. Now watch, when I hover over it, I can click add a sticky note. And either privately or publicly, I can do what we do with books. I can annotate it. I am now writing on a website. Share this comment so insightful. Click OK. Now it disappears and you notice my highlight turns green. Green tells me that I have actually annotated, not just highlighted, but annotated. And when I hover over it with my mouse, the sticky note will pop up. Now, you also, if you have a Digo account, can come to this site and see that highlight. And I can see yours if we set it that way. Now. Mm, oh, let me go back to that for a second, show you the one last step. I want to now bookmark this page to Digo. And I'm going to tag it, comments. Uh, I'll call it change comments. And um, put a little note here. Uh, from a reader of 70 years. Fascinating. And I can click Save. All right? Now, I have just bookmarked this comment and this website, this particular post, to my Digo bookmarks. Here's Digo right here. Digo.com. You can create an account. It's as easy as creating an email. And then your account will look like this. This is my Digo homepage. You can see that I have 3,400 and 71 websites, all on an online uh, favorites bookmarks site, Digo. So think of Digo as your file cabinet for everything you've read online. And instead of having to put them in silly folders that only have one label, label you can tag them with all sorts of labels that apply. So this tag is for Teach for America, TFA. It's also about Advanced Placement, AP. It's for change.org. It's about NCLB. It's about teacher certification. It's about assessment. I can click on Assessment, that tab, and it will show me everything that I have tagged. Assessment. All of my bookmarks tagged Assessment. You can see that I've got... Well, I'll go back. So tagging is a very simple thing if you don't know about it, but when you go to your bookmarks page, you will see, you know, there's my tags there. A lot of things on Duncan, um, history, so on and so forth, right? 
And you see that the site that I just highlighted that comment on is right here. There's the little note that I made when I bookmarked it and sent it up to Digo from a reader of 70 years, fascinating. And better still, watch this. We can click Expand, and you see that the comment that I highlighted from a reader is right there. And then underneath it indented in a different colored box is my sticky note. All right, that's the way it looks. Cooler still, watch this. It's the last thing I'll show you. Preview. Preview actually takes you to the page that you bookmarked. Whoops. So you can see the whole thing right there. Now I'll show you something that I'm working on. It's a New Yorker article called The Twilight of the Books. And like that UCLA study that drove me stark raving mad, it's another one that equates books with reading. What will life be like if people stop reading? I'm not reading this text on a piece of paper. I'm reading it online. And just like the UCLA study, this author, Caleb Crane, doesn't seem to really appreciate or have much experience with online literacy. So, you know, here it is. Really long article, right? Now, a 20th century person would print this out, mark it up, and so forth. But Digo allows me to do this. Watch. Click highlight, click this, and see all annotations. And you will see as we wait. Suddenly, my highlights have popped up. That one's green. I hover over it. And there is my comment. And it says, why are we privileging creative literature? Just, just more feedback there. So that is me reading and conversing with the text. And you can see that there's much more here. And so when I go back to my Digo, my Digo bookmarks page, you can see there it is right there, Twilight of the Books. And I have 57 annotations. I expand, and everything that I've highlighted is right there. That's the original text. There's my annotation, my sticky note, on and on. OK? Again, this is called social bookmarking, Digo. And you can get, you, because you can see my social bookmarks by going to digo.com slash user slash cbarell. That's one R. Everybody misspells it. All right, so um, think about that. I have on my Digo account a library of 3,472 texts that I have read online, most of them annotated, in less than three years. Do not tell me that the internet discourages literacy. Do not tell me that it's one way passive blah 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 because I am not only reading, I am also writing back just like I do on my paper books in the margins. All sorts of marginalia. Better still, if you went to this New Yorker article and highlighted and annotated it with your um, comments, I would be able to see those on this page too and reply to them, and on and on. So walk, don't run, to digo.com. I love them. They're really good. And um, start organizing your online reading so you never have to look for it again. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and if you like it, please tell me, because feedback helps. And I will send more of these types of things your way. Thanks a lot. I hope that all of you have the chance to enjoy what I'm looking forward to in about 30 minutes, which is the Wimbledon final between Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. I said Wimbledon because that's what they did last year in five hours. It's, of course, the Australian Open, and I am just so excited. I'm about to wet myself. Have a good one. Bye-bye.